everybody, welcome back to another video. So today I'm doing something slightly different from the normal. I got this as a donation to the channel slash myself. So this is the WWE Entrance Greats Kurt Angle figure. So I'm a big wrestling fan, I've been a big wrestling fan since the 90s. So when I was younger I used to collect wrestling action figures but then I stopped and I haven't bought them since. But last year at a car boot sale I managed to pick up a, a little handful of toys. Just for nostalgia's sake, and they were quite cool. They only cost me a couple of pounds, and since then I've had my eye on them, but I haven't really done anything with it. So my mate Chris, who I've mentioned a few times on this, seen this for cheap in a shop, and thought it'd be a good addition to the the collection. So it's Kurt Angle. I've never actually had a Kurt Angle figure since, I've, even though he was quite big at the time when I was younger buying toys. I have like countless Undertaker toys. I've got quite a few Stone Colds, but no Kurt Angles. So. I'm just going to do a quick reopening of this. It's from Mattel. It's of their Elite range. And as it's an entrance grate, it comes with a little entrance stand that plays his theme tune. I wonder if you'll hear this. Yep. So it only plays a little bit. So I'm not sure if it's because it's on Try Me or not. I've not opened it. So let's have a look at the box. So this is really nice packaging. I'm doing an opening because wrestling figures are one of the few things I don't mind being opened and displayed as figures because I let my son play with the wrestling toys. So this package is quite nice. It displays Kurt Angle. I'm not too sure but the pose they've got him in because you can see the figure. You can see he's wearing these medals but that's a weird pose. I've always known him to have his arms spread out. Kind of like that. So this Kurt Angle is from his debut at Survivor Series 99 so that's 20 years ago. So it just gives you a brief description of it. Trumpets Blair. Filling arenas with pure red, white and blue American patronism. The only sound that truly exudes air is free eyes, intensity, integrity and intelligence. The WWE Universe knows that Kurt Angle, their hero, is the only WWE superstar to ever win a gold medal. Has arrived. Oh, it's true. It's true. So, uh, the figure looks decent. The packaging is nice. It's, this figure came out in 2017, if you did, 2017. So, I'm going to do a quick jump cut where I've got them out of the package and I'll talk about the figure. Ah, thank God we did a jump cut for that because getting him out the box was a nightmare. So all I had the box was with the figure, some instructions for this. But I uh, was quite correct, there was a try me button and on. So the try me, I've tried it out. So when you take it off try me, it plays a lot more of the theme tunes. I'm just going to play that. You suck. You suck. Yeah, so that's quite cool. I, f I always thought it was just a... Come on, finish. Come on. Anyway, I always thought it was just a snippet of the music, but that's a lot more than I was expecting. So there is a few of the WWE entrance gates that I've got my eye on that I quite liked. Like the Bobby Roode figure. I would quite like that because the theme tune and the figure looks quite good. But let's just talk about the action figure itself. As it's a WWE Elite figure, the posability on it is redonkulous. There's so much articulation. You even got removable knee pads and elbow pads if you want to take them off. You can take off his separate gold medals, which is quite cool. So we'll just sit them there while I lose them. So this arm is very flexible, as you'd expect. The, the likeness for Kurt Angle is fantastic. That looks just like Kurt Angle when he first came into it. Back when he had hair and he was young and full of dreams before he had his head shaved off. This arm is really stiff, so I'm not sure if it's just because it's just been opened, but it's really stiff to move, so I'm not sure if it, it might just need moved about a little bit just to loosen it up. So I will get him in the pose of there we go, there's the pose that you expect him to come in because he comes in going doo -doo 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 -doo. So, yeah, the detail in the costume is great So as I said, as it's a WWE Elite figure you can tell by the the joint in the chest that allowed him to do that, extra posability and the fact that they've got the ball joint for the leg rather than just the basic up and down, up and down So I really like this figure, the detail is great back print He's even got his little tattoo, I wonder if we can get it in focus I'm not entirely sure what it is, I can't really tell I'd have to look that up online. Yeah, but yeah, so it's great Kurt Angle figure. So I've got lots of wrestling figures back from as a child. They're all from the Attitude Era. I've got them all in a big bag that my son plays with. But if you'd like me just to go through my wrestling figure collection, let me know. Leave a comment on the video, this video or on the Facebook page. 
Or if you want to see, I've also got a separate bag that's just all my Undertaker toys. If you want to see that in a separate video or included with the wrestling figures, let me know and I'll get that done. My son can maybe help me out with it. He doesn't know who all the wrestlers is. He only knows a handful of the ones that he likes, like Kane, Goldberg. The usual numbers, the usual ones. So yeah, so I've got this one. I've even got, I've got an Elite. I mean, I've got a few Elite ones. As I said, I got them at Car Boots. So I could do a small video on them because I got them at Car Boot. I think they cost me a couple pounds for them all in total. I've got a Shamrock, I've got a Kevin Owens, I've got a Daniel Bryan and an Undertaker. So I, I would quite like to collect the Mattel figures because the Mattel figures are supreme compared to the figures I grew up with. Because the figures I grew up with, they were basic, basic figures. The, be the best they had was a little chip in their foot that would let them play music if you had the big stage that went with it. But other than that, the figures barely moved and sometimes they re-released the same figure over and over again, just slightly different. And for some reason I bought them. I was a stupid child. Stupid, stupid child. I should have been buying individual wrestlers instead of repeat wrestlers. Yeah, I can just put them in his hands. I don't know if I'd want him wearing them or if I'd want him carrying them. Yeah. So that's my Kurt Angle. I might put him on the shelf. I'm not sure where I'm going to put my wrestling figures because I would quite like to collect the wrestlers that I liked growing up and have them on display, not just my Undertakers because I did have a big just Undertaker display but I kind of put that away because it looks like I had a shrine to the man in a way it probably was but that's a different story so if you want to see more wrestling based stuff I can do things like that because I do have a good wrestling collection I've even got the wrestling cards collections I've got random random wrestling memorabilia that I've collected over the from my childhood to now but most of it's from my childhood because I've kind of avoided buying wrestling things over the last 10 years or so as much as possible because I've been trying to focus on buying Ghostbusters stuff and the odd Godzilla thing so uh, if you like this video, let me know if you want more wrestling figures because I do have lots and I've got most of the Attitude Era stuff that I, I've got almost all the Attitude Era stuff that I grew up with. So if you want to see that, let me know. As always, uh, thanks for watching the video, making it to this point in the video and don't forget to have a gidgen.